I love house plants and I love to recycle. So I get to make my propagation box today. Yay! My spag moss that I ordered online has arrived. This is 100 grams of New Zealand sphagnum moss. And I don't have any instructions on the back as to how much water to add. So I looked online and what I read was that I am to add two liters of water to this 100 gram compressed brick of sphagnum moss. And I am going to use this baby spinach container. It's clear. I've rinsed it out and it has a hinged lid. So I thought that would be wonderful to use. And then as far as what I'm propagating, I'm going to use some house plants. So I'll go around and get some clippings of house plants and I'll be right back. Taking a cutting from my fuzzy wandering Jew plant. I will be using a Christmas cactus cutting. I'm for sure going to get a pothos plant. So I'm gonna go right here behind this node. I hope you can see. There we go. Snip. There it is. See the aerial roots? There's one. And we have, ooh, several. One, two, three, three or four. That will be a good one to use in the propagation box. Okay, here we go. Now that we have the sphag moss out of its package, this is what it looks like up close. It kind of reminds me of particle board. It's very compressed. So now comes the fun part. We're gonna add the water. As I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be adding two liters of water. Let's see what happens here. Slowly adding this. I find this so interesting. <laughs> Soak that up really quickly. From what I read, you want to make sure that you squeeze out the extra water. At this point, I've used less than half of the two liter, and as you can tell, it's still in brick form. We're going to add some more water. There we go. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the last of this. Looks like a loaf of bread. It's been about five minutes since I dumped the two liter of water on the sphagnum moss. And look at this. It has grown so much. And there is still water down in the bottom of our clear container. I hope you can see that. So I might have to end up dumping some of it. Oh, look. What I'm doing right now is I'm mixing it together just to ensure that the water is soaked up. And then here in a moment, I'm gonna squeeze out the excess water. This smells good. It's like in a strange way. <laughs> Reminds me of the smell of a flower shop, which would make sense, because I'm sure they use this at flower shops. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna need two hands for this because look, still a lot of water in there. By making this video, I've come to the conclusion that the next time I order a 100 gram compressed brick of sphagnum moss, I will not use an entire two liter of water because it's a bit too much. Just use slightly less. 
wish you guys could smell this. That sphagnum moss sure holds a lot more water than what I expected. As you can see, I made a huge mess and I have well more than one cup too much. <laughs> so I closed the lid and poured the excess water into this measuring cup and then took some of the sphagnum moss out and rang it over the measuring cup. And as you see, wah, wah, wah. Too much water to start with, I believe. Now, let me show you what I got going on here. On the top, I rang it out a little more thoroughly than the bottom. It's almost kind of a soppy wet still here at the bottom. Is that too much water? I don't know, I've never done this before. So I am gonna water my house plants with the excess water here. I typically bottom water this Christmas cactus. But since I have this nice sphagnum moss water, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this guy a good drink because it's time to water anyway. I'll probably give the rest of this to my Sansa Vera in the other room. I think I'm about ready to get this propagation box wrapped up. You guys see me take some cuttings. And in addition to the ones you saw, I have a little mystery succulent here. Isn't it cute? And also this plant. I'm not sure what it is. It might be a bridal veil vine, but I could be completely wrong. Do you know what this is? Is it the baby's tears? I don't know. Help me out if you know in the comments. So let's go ahead and get these cuttings situated in this propagation box. And essentially we're building like a little mini greenhouse here, but you can do this in a plastic bag that is see-through, like a Ziploc bag of sort. I've seen people make these um, without a lid. So there's so many different ways. I'm hoping that this works out well, and I will give you a follow-up, of course, but for now, let's just get a good look at what our roots look like, the aerial roots on this pothos, and then right here on our Christmas cactus. This is an original Christmas cactus. And then here is our uh, fuzzy wandering Jew plant as it's referred to. Isn't that beautiful? I just had an idea. I cut a water bottle in half and then slit some drain holes alongside the bottom. Just filled it with some sphagnum moss. I've taken another pothos cutting and you will see that we have Oh, I believe three. Three little tiny nodes starting here. So I am simply going to take this pretty little cutting and put it straight down ever so gently in that sphagnum moss. I'm not going to cover it up or anything. I'm going to see what happens and I'll report back. And then of course here I am going to keep the lid closed on this propagation box. And we're gonna give it a lot of bright, indirect light. I have some sphagnum moss that I just put inside a Ziploc bag and put some potho cuttings down in there. This cutting of pothos plant with all of these nice nodes that you can see there. These are all aerial roots. Got them setting in bright, indirect light. It is a beautiful September day. I couldn't help myself. I put some ZZ plant tubers in some sphagnum moss and sealed it up in a Ziploc bag. And I have them hanging out here alongside the pothos cuttings in the sphagnum moss and the ZZ plant cutting that we have inside the recycled water container. But that's not it, I have more. I also created another little greenhouse for some ZZ plant cuttings. So we're gonna see how that turns out. 
Our prop box looks good. Spilt a little bit of water on it. I added a leaf of the ZZ plant in here in the sphagnum moss with our cute little pothos. And then I also put an anthurium leaf. Looked a little frumpy. And then this is the ZZ plant that I took the cuttings off of. All right, guys, thanks for watching.